Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is an extra special one. We're going to talk about the newest Glaminatrix palette, which is a sugar and spice palette. This is how the palette looks. It's such an elevated packaging. It has like a leather look to it and it's gold lettering on the packaging itself. And this is how the actual palette looks, which is like a faux leather, I would say. I love this packaging. Like I love the way, the direction that Glaminatrix went towards. I do not mind actually the smaller pan of the packaging. That was a discussion for sure in the internet. I don't mind it at all. Uh, as long as they keep the price point same uh, and the quality of the eyeshadow is pretty uh, consistent to the other Glaminatrix palettes, I'm really, really going to be happy with it. This palette was sent to me and I'm eternally grateful for Glaminatrix to send this towards my uh, way. I really, really, really love the packaging for sure. Let's take a peek. Obviously, I've shown you the inside, but let's let's take a closer look on how the palette looks. Obviously, this palette has been swatched, but you'll still get to see all the texture and like the dimension that this palette has. They basically say, this palette is a perfect sweet everyday eyeshadow palette with a little bit of spice included in it. This palette includes eight mattes, three multi-chromes and three duochromes and one sparkly shimmer. The sparkly shimmer that they're talking about is definitely this one. This is clearly a multi-chrome. This is a multi-chrome. I don't know if this is a duochrome or a multi-chrome. Like this, oh no, actually the sparkly, sh oh, I don't know actually, because this is super, super sparkly at my end. This is definitely a duochrome or maybe a multichrome. Oh my, but there is a lot of texture, okay? <laughs> that, oh, this is, a de this is definitely a duochrome. This is like a purple to a pink duochrome. This is like with a brown base. Let me show you a close up because that would be helpful of all the swatches in action so that you can see how these palettes swatched. So that's how the palette swatches. This palette launches on Sunday, August the 6th at 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Or if you are in the US, then it launches on August 5th, the Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look how gorgeous, gorgeous the shimmers are. The, sh the shimmers are definitely the star of the show here in this palette. This palette was totally unexpected. When they sneak peek the outer packaging, I literally thought that this is going to be like a woodsy, fall-esque eyeshadow palette because I, I was here for like, you know, deep chocolatey brown tones or like burgundy tones with a lot of shimmer. I feel like after swatching it, this seems a little bit more warm tone because in the pan, it totally seems like cooler neutral. Uh, but after swatching, oh, most of these shimmers lean towards that goldeny, greeny tone. You saw the swatches, but I feel like you can definitely combine even these pastel shades with the uh, mattes in the palette and can create a little bit more warmth to the look. We're going to play with this palette. I'm going to do several looks using this palette so that you can see all in action. I'm going to swatch the shimmers live for you just so that you can see all the shifts and shine and then we'll move on to the looks using this palette. Okay, the first shade is called Vanilla. This seems like a very white shimmer shade in the pan and you can see it in camera itself like how dimensional these shimmers are. The shade Vanilla is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a white shimmer but I see a lot of golden green to it. So let me swatch it for you guys so that you can see. Look, that one swipe swatch is so beautiful. Like a white gold shade, I would say. But if you apply that on top of a black base, I feel like there'll be a lot of like green that peeks through because it has that green undertone to it. Really, really pretty. Let's move on to the next shade, which is Fennel. And Fennel, it's definitely... These are all like smooth shimmers, but they're so shiny. Look at that. The fennel is more of like a green gold shade, but it has that paleness to it. Look how stunning that is. 
let me do vanilla also on the index finger so that's the difference vanilla and fennel let's swatch fennel just to see how different it is from vanilla and this definitely has like a i can see a gold to a green like a minty green to a grassy green to a blue so this is definitely a multi-chrome can you see that yeah that's a multi-chrome you can see it look at that so stunning like upstairs when i was swatching this it was not showing this much dimension and i do not have any artificial lighting i just have one lighting that is just brightening up the uh, background and i have a huge window in front of me so that the natural light can uh, come towards me so that you can see all the shifts and the dimension the same way how it appears to me now let's move on to the next shade the next shade is nutmeg and this seems like a very beautiful sparkly rose gold shimmer can you see this this for an every like a glam look would be stunning i would saying everyday glam but i don't know how many of us do everyday glam <laughs> nothing wrong with it but this definitely this shade is super dimensional super sparkly i feel like when they said like one sparkly shimmer this is what they meant because as soon as you open the palette you can see this uh, shade like super glimmering and shimmering and let's move on to the next shade which is mustard and this shade definitely is the most textured shade out of the palette um, you can definitely see the texture on my finger this is definitely more like an olive green shade look as compared to the rest of the shimmers this is definitely the most textural but it smoothens out really really nicely on my hand so so that's mustard look at that look at the shine so i hope you've captured this really really pretty okay now let's move on to the last three shimmers that we have in the palette the next is called star anise and this is definitely uh, a multi-chrome it's a smooth multi-chrome that shifts from like a fuchsia pink to a gold to a green can you see that it's a very common multi-chrome in the indie makeup industry i would say if you know like pat mcgrath uh, divine rose 2 palette um, if you know the Lady Buglo, the first palette, um, there's a lot of palettes that the Natasha Denona, My Dream palette has one shade like this. Really, really pretty. Natasha Denona one is amped down quite a bit, I would say. This is on steroids. So pretty. Look at that. Okay, let's move on to the next shade. The next shade is called Lavender and this is definitely like a lavender purple shade but with a lot of pink to it. Can you see that? Let's swatch it. I was so happy to see like purple in the palette. You know, my love affair with the purple shades. And it's not like that punchy purple. You can definitely tone it down too. For me, purple is another neutral. And I really, really love this. The next shade in the palette is called Basil. And Basil is more of like a... It's a very toppery shade, I would say. It has like a brown, like a tan base. With like a blue-purple shifts running throughout it. I've also seen this kind of a shade in like It's Bell Cosmetics first palette that they came out with. I think it was the first palette that they came out with. But because this is a toppery shade, I'm just going to pack it up uh, uh, two, three times so that you can see it in action. Like at my angle, I see like a transparent base, but you will definitely be able to see the shimmer running throughout it. And that's the best part about the shimmer because even if you have like a bare eyelid or like a tan or a bronzer on top of it, you can clearly tap this all over your eyelid to give that interest in your eye. And this is something else. Really, really beautiful. And I love that they included uh, the matte shades, which is like more of like a neutral uh, color story with like pops of pastels. 
I love the pops of pastels and it's like effective and very different from each other. And this middle row is completely neutral shades. The only critique that I would do, uh, like a constructive criticism that I would say, is like on my um, tan skin tone. This and this was not necessary. I would say just because I would have easily gone with either one of the shade. And I would have loved if there was like more of like a warm tone, um, mid-tone shade in this palette because I feel like that would have taken this color story to another level. Like a orangey peachy shade would be amazing or like a burgundy like a shade would that, that would have been amazing too. If I have to say that's the only thing that I would say uh, I am missing in this palette but otherwise like the shimmers like take my breath away. Like seriously, look at that, snapshot the shimmers and see how beautiful that is. I've also done like a shorts on YouTube as well as on Instagram, um, swatching this palette and that would exactly give you like an idea of like how this color story, how this palette performs on my skin. Okay, now let's move on to applying this baby on my eyes because I definitely want to do several looks and we are running out of time. <laughs> Okay, let's start off dark to light this time. I'm going to start off with licorice. I'm going to pat licorice on my outer corners. Look how deep that shade is. I am really, really aware of how Laminatrix palette work. But I also know that this is the first time they are doing the eyeshadows not hand pressed. So I'm excited to see how this performs. And that's basically because once you are like growing, um, I just want to see like where was this made. So this was made in PRC and it has a shelf life of 24 months, which is really good. Um, what I was saying is when you are a smaller indie brand, you definitely don't want to like go out of stock or like wait uh, for the next batch, like an ingredients to come out. But instead, if you are making it in a, like a lab or something uh, you definitely can get a bulk load of orders placed and uh, they're trying this out and we'll see how this goes like black is performing very very nicely i like my blacks to be buildable uh, rather than to be like pigmented all of a sudden and this just did the same like it's super buildable it's blending very very nicely even to my like skin tone i would say like i'm getting a smoother blend not like any skipping or anything like that look at that i really like that okay i'm gonna take next shade which is brownie the brown shade tapping off the excess now getting it closer to the mid portion of the eye and now blending those edges of the black i definitely can see a difference between that black and the brown for sure i don't know how much it's capturing in the camera but i definitely see that smooth blend and i do appreciate actually that brown because there's no burgundy in the palette i feel like that brown was definitely necessary I'm gonna take the same shade on the lower lash line too. You're like, Smithy, what are you doing? But wait, <laughs> I'm gonna put shimmers and it's gonna be stunning. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my NYX glitter glue. I don't wanna do anything like extra on my eye. Just wanna smoke it out on the outer corner. Just taking a little bit of NYX glitter glue and just applying right there in the inner portion just like that and i want to showcase that shade vanilla that looks white on the pan so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna just start applying that right there look how stunning stunning that is I'm gonna take that all across my eyelid just tapping the edges off just so that it melts with that brown and the black 
Okay, I'm gonna take the same brush uh, with which we took that brownie shade, the brown shade, and just tapping it towards the edges. Now, since you've seen that in action, obviously I can just do liner, mascara, come right back, just to show you a little bit more, like a different way of applying the other shimmers. Let's take that shade, lavender, which is that purpley shade, and I'm gonna just tap that right there in the center, melting that vanilla shade and that brown shade. And of course, because that purple is like muted, that would give like a different effect on the eye. And with, and mixed with that uh, white gold shade, that looks stunning and I'm gonna just push it right there to my brow, brow bone look at that oh that's stunning <laughs> okay I'm just gonna take the same brush with no additional product just blending the edges I'm gonna ba take back that vanilla shade the first shade that we applied and just apply that on my inner corners and just melting that with that lavender shade. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh, I love, I'm just loving the way how this turned out. Um, I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and go into that shade Gumdrop, which is that lavender shade. And I'm just gonna take that on the lower lash line. Definitely not what I thought, but I feel like this is definitely coming together really nicely oh so pretty oh okay i'm gonna now just finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that's my first eye look i really really love the way that this eye turned out very very unexpected of course you can just go with either the lavender shade or that gold like that white gold shade but mixing both those together gives such a beautiful interest to the eye i love it i absolutely loved it and because i took that lavender right onto the brow bone you can definitely see it like a different shade coming throughout it and i love it absolutely loved the idea of it now let's move on to the next eye look okay i'm excited okay let's take let's take the shade which is sticky date um this swatched really really dark um on my skin tone so i don't know what to expect actually let's actually take the brown shade first sorry <laughs> i'm gonna take brownie which is that deeper brown shade this shade again let's avoid the black this time and see how beautifully this can perform and we'll mix that sticky date shade the gray shade to blend this really really pretty i'm now thinking this mixed with that glaminatrix into the night palette that i have would be so amazing like you know how much i love that palette i actually took it to india when i was traveling it just came in so handy especially the shimmers the mattes mixed together i love the grungy shimmers that are included in that palette and this mixed with that it's gonna be match made in heaven oh so pretty okay now I'm gonna take a cleaner blending brush. Do I have a cleaner blending brush? That's the question. Yeah, I'm gonna take a cleaner blending brush and this is refer number 16. And I'm gonna take this shade, uh, Brulee, this one. I'm gonna just, oh, that's so pigmented. <laughs> Tap off. Okay, I'm gonna just melt that with that brown shade. Oh, that melted so effortlessly into each other. Did you see that? It hardly took like five seconds. Oh, so pretty. Okay. I'm going to take that uh, gray now, which is called Sticky Date. Can I show you <laughs> this one, the middle shade, Sticky Date, tapping off the excess. And then I'm going to just take that 
towards my crease blending with that brown shade getting it closer to my inner third toe not afraid of that look how pretty that is okay that mixed so very well like i have zero complaints about the mats and the shimmers like they blended so nicely so nicely okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take um, a flat blood as <laughs> blood <laughs> a f not a flat a smaller fluffy brush and i'm gonna dip into let's say what should i dip into mm, actually so many ideas i'm gonna put some shimmer okay <laughs> i'm gonna take next glitter glow just a tiny little bit on my bare portion of the eyelid like the inner third and melting with that gray and the brown you can see how simple that um, eye look is with just two shades now i'm going to take this shade which is basil which is that it has that brownie tan base like a transparent tan base but with a lot of blue and purple to it uh-huh uh-huh come to mama so pretty i just love these kind of shades oh, can you see that can you see that so pretty the sun actually dimmed a little bit maybe because it wants to show you <laughs> the shimmer and the sparkle and the shine can you see that purple to a blue with like a transparent base i love it love it wow wow okay now what i'm gonna do is how am i gonna use all the shimmers and the matte i have no idea okay i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade taffy which is the pastel yellow shade i'm gonna take that on my inner corner just to brighten things up because i don't want any other shimmer right there just because i want to have the focus on the lid but this would just make the inner corner so bright and so vibrant i really like that yeah i like it i love it okay i'm going to take the same brush that we applied on the lower lash line where is it i'm going to take brownie again just deepening the outer corners of the lower lash line and then taking sticky date and then coming towards the inner third i also feel like sticky date and taffy together would be amazing like by itself like a matte eye look would be amazing okay i'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara that's that's all that i want over here uh, and i'll come right back and that's my second eye look i really really love how effortless that was and i also feel like instead because the sparkle and the shine on this eye has that blue to a purple to a pink you definitely can put that a uh, lavender shade which is gumdrop on the inner corners and that would also tie this look so beautifully these shades would go and marry with each other very very nicely i cannot wait to create more looks with this uh, but that's going to be tomorrow i feel like i'm going to quickly go take some pictures with these eye looks and i'll meet you guys with the third and the fourth look okay let's start off with the third eye look why don't we play with some multi chrome so we're going to play with this and maybe we can include this or this on the inner side we'll see now because we are limited on the mats i mean we're not limited but it's neutral mats i want to see if we can lean a little more towards the warmer tone or not so i'm going to mix this yellow with the brownie shade and see how we land so i'm going to first start off with that yellow shade which is taffy and i'm going to just apply that all across my crease
now maybe because it's a pastel shades it might not blend well we'll see we don't need to jump the gun we'll see because the last two looks that i did we went from dark to light we'll go from light to dark and see if that blends well or not so we have that pastel yellow blended across the crease which absolutely took no time at all i'm going to take that brownie shade which is that deeper brown shade in the palette tapping off the excess starting with the outer corners and then melting it into that yellow you absolutely need the slightest bit for this to blend because it's definitely blending with that yellow shade but i feel like we lost the yellow shade uh, while blending it so i'm just gonna take Maybe let's take meringue and taffy together. Tapping off the excess. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of warmth, no matter what. So I'm going to stick with that brownie shade in the outer corners and also on the lower lash line just like that okay. Now let's play with the shimmer because that's what we are all here for at least what I am here for. I'm going to take the next glitter glow and just Pat it all across my lid, just leaving the outer corners as it is, just because I need the depth there. Now I'm going to take that star anise shade, this uh, fuchsia pink to a green shifting shade. Look how smooth that is. Yep. Just as I thought. Really pretty. Now because this is like a smoother multi-chrome, I don't want to apply a texture shade here. <clears throat> just because I want that smoothness to go forward. So I'm going to take the shade called Fennel, which is the second shade here in the palette. And I'm going to take that on like a smaller flat definer brush. Picks up really, really nicely on the brush. And then I'm just going to take that. Oh my God, that's stunning. That is just stunning. Also going to take that on the inner corners. Can you imagine me loving greens? <laughs> like, can you? Oh, I love that. I just I love that. Mixing it up with the star anise shade because I don't want to lose that pink at all. Look at that shift. Are you kidding me? I love it. Okay, I'm going to take the, the, what is this? The outer corner brush, just like that. And I'm going to take this shade mustard on the lower lash line it's a pc shade so i am gonna spray it just because i don't want a lot of texture and fallout on my lower lash line oh that's stunning oh my god can you see that i'm not a big fan of like shimmers on my lower lash line but that shimmer is stunning Ooh. That's stunning. Okay, I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. That was so quick. And that is my third eye look. I love how dimensional this shade is. Like, 
I've seen a lot of multi-chromes, but this shifts so beautifully. I love it. I absolutely love it. Even the blend is just stunning. Oh, I cannot even, I cannot even get over this look because it's bright, it's fun, it's poppy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, let's move on to a more of a neutral eye look on this eye because we've done a, quite a few everyday neutral but colorful looks i would say so let's move on to this side okay i'm gonna start off with that brownie shade it seems like brownie is gonna be my everyday deepening shade for this uh, palette because i feel like for every look i've dipped into that brownie and i'm gonna just blend the edges ever so lightly also on the lower lash line now i'm gonna take a smaller brush and i'm gonna get into this licorice shade which is that black and just deepen it out the extreme outer corners just tapping it out because it does the blending for us no matter what now i'm gonna go into that brulee shade tapping off the excess and just melting it with that brownie shade. Okay, I'm gonna take NYX Glitter Glue and we're gonna apply that sparkly shade that I am waiting, waiting for. Okay, now let's take that shade Nutmeg, right there, this one, and I'm gonna take that first with my fingers. Oh my God! Oh, I live for these shades. Oh my expectations were high with this shade and it surpassed it i'm just gonna tippy tap it all across the eyelid i'm just taking a smaller brush so that it just reaches the inner third and and it picks up so nicely with the brush too can you see that I love that shade. Oh my goodness. That's definitely my favorite shade of the palette. Oh God. And this palette has some amazing shade. It has no shift or anything. But the sparkle and the shine just takes my heart. Okay. I'm going to take the same blending brush with no additional product. And I'm just going to blend the edges. Actually, let's just take a tad bit of brownie. And just tap over the edges just like that I love it love it oh my god I can just go like this outside like with no questions asked like I love it love it absolutely but have we used all the shades one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we've used everything but except the mint shade the lavender would be stunning, but let's use mint since we have not used that. I'm gonna just take that right there. I just love it. This palette is stunning, guys. Just like that, that's it, that's it. I'm not gonna do anything more to this eye look because this looks stunning. I'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. And that's my fourth and the final look. I love how glamorous this eye turned out to be. This is me, I love it. Like this is by far the favorite look that I've created using this palette. But nevertheless, I feel like all of the looks that I created were so different from each other and I could do so much more with this palette. I just wanted to use all the shades in this palette because it was like a new formula to them. And I am surprised. I'm really, really happy with the performance of the palette. I really like it. Again, I would, I'm just missing one warm tone shade, like a mid-tone matte shade in this palette, and it could have been one of these shades. Like, I, I really feel, at least on my skin tone, I only feel those two are like a bit repetitive, but otherwise the looks, 
stunning the quality absolutely marvelous i loved each and everything about this palette and i give it a two thumbs up from my side you can also use the code smithy to save 15 percent off on the glaminatrix website and also before i forget all these pans are magnetic so you can like shift these shades here and there and make your own color story which i feel like i do quite a bit i actually do change up my eyeshadows and you guys know that you've seen it several times on my channel so i really appreciate that the pans being magnetic and they not changing the price point but I feel like I can like shift around these shadows a, a little bit and I can make my own color story so that I can like make my own looks without just moving here and there which I mean I love moving here and there because you can get the creativity that you're looking for so yeah I really 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 love playing with this palette and do let me know in the comment section below out of the four looks which one was your favorite do let me know in the comment section below I'm really really curious and maybe when I'm editing I might just change my mind because right now I actually forgot even what I did yesterday <laughs> but I feel like I mean I love this too but I love this so much like so much okay let's stop <laughs> but yeah that's all for today guys if you like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys